Today I'm going to be reviewing this history trivia game that was recently sent to me by the brand. So I'm going to go and open this up, show you exactly what's going to be inside and how you're going to play. So when you first open up, this is everything that's going to come inside. Essentially how this is going to work is you're going to take one of these cards that are going to be labeled A through, I believe it's F. Let me look here. Yes, F on here. And so you're going to take, you're going to mix them up, and then you're going to pick one. You're going to place it here. So say, for example, I have the letter A. That's the one that I chose. And then you're going to take one card from each of these, and you're going to put it onto the spot. And then the whoever's turn it is, they get the opportunity to choose which of those categories they want to answer a question from. So the leader on that turn, so say, say for example, is sports and recreation, is then going to read the letter A. So what Washington state congressman is credited with inventing pickleball? Obviously, if they don't know the answer, then this card gets discarded. It's going to have the answers turned upside down right here. They do know the answer, then they get the card. And then you can go based on, okay, we're going to go five rounds deep, or we're going to go, you know, tell people about 10 points or whatever the case might be. These are not going to be easy. So like that one was obviously not, not going to be an easy one. Let me read some of these other ones. So A on this one is Akira Kusaro's Throne of Blood is a samurai version of what Shakespeare play. So Macbeth is going to be the answer on that one. Let me go to this science and technology option. So A on that. What is the state called where materials exist as a gas, a liquid, and a solid simultaneously? And that's going to be triple boil or triple point. Go to the people and events here. Which nation invaded Kuwait in 1990? Answer is A, Iraq. On A is Iraq. And then geography and landmarks. A, what Stra strato volcano is the highest point in oregon and answer is mount hood so this is definitely going to be a game designed for older people people who are really good at history that sort of thing history trivia there's going to be a lot of questions on here that are not going to be easy so just going to be something you'll want to keep in mind there's no like easy or hard mode or anything they're all going to be this just different categories and then you got a ton of different cards that you can play around and then after you've played say through a for a while you could obviously switch it up and go next time you can mix it up go for c or d or f or whatever the case might be so there's definitely going to be a lot of involved gameplay with this game However, it is going to be recommended for older people. Like they, they say 14. Truthfully, I probably wouldn't play with anyone who's under like the age of maybe 20, 25, unless they're really, really good at heavy trivia, really, really good at historical facts, that sort of a deal. But overall, definitely a good game for those who are into historical or trivia, all of those sorts of things.